Key West, Cayo Hueso, 90 miles from Cuba, and of course the southernmost point of the continental United States. If these fabled waters can speak, they tell stories of adventure and mystery. And that's exactly what's on the horizon. With names like Silver King and Grey Ghost, these shallow water predators rule the flats. So sit back and see how it all unfolds as we flip through the pages of the Captain's Log. Brother, here we are again together in Key yeah, West. Baby. You know, last time I fished with you was my birthday. Yeah. You got me my first permit. Yeah, dude. I remember that, so, man. That was awesome. I'm so glad we're able to sneak down and do a little fish in between trips up with the clients. And yeah. Let's go kill it, man. Let's go see what's going on. All right, man. All right, John, so we're gonna slide in here first thing in the morning and uh, see if we can get lucky and see some of these tarpon rolling around. Uh, we were kind of fishing them on a little higher tide yesterday with some sunshine, but uh, they should still be around here somewhere. Let's uh, see who's home. Yes, sir. Was it a big fish? Uh, 50 pounds. Perfect. He ate it. He Real. Ate it. Oh, leave it there, leave it there, leave it there. Come on, come up and eat. Oh, God. You got it. He Real. Got it. Oh, fish on, baby. Tip up. Fish on. jumps. Got him, baby. Keep it tight, brother. All right, he's going to jump again here and right now. Good. Yeah, brother! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, baby! Oh, man, we were watching them rolling. And we just had three roll up. Right in front of us, the bay. straight towards us. Boom, it didn't take no time at all. Keep them on there, baby. All we got to do is get that leader, baby. Tip up, tip up. And I say that the further up it is, the more you can give to him. Just like that. Good job, dude. Good job. Couldn't resist the pitter. Bro, I can't remember the last time. I caught the tarpon. <laughs> Feels good, doesn't it? Yes, sir. I'd probably say he's a little bit bigger than average for our juvenile tarpon down here. He looks like a solid 15 pounds. Perfect size fish. These are my favorite size. Oh, yeah, man. absolutely. Hooking the big ones are awesome to watch jump, and the eats are incredible. But well, they just wear you out, yeah, man. Yeah, they'll wear you down, man. These are just fun size. Just perfect, the perfect fish to catch. Heart attack. Here you go. Touch that leader. I'm trying. Oh, almost, brother. Almost. All right, All right. Leader caught fish. Caught fish. All right, give me that face grab, brother. Come, Come on, on, baby. Oh, he don't like it. <laughs> he does not want me to grab him. Easy. There she goes. Perfect. We got her. Yeah. Yeah, man. 
<laughs> oh, what a beautiful fish, John. Beautiful fish, bro. Oh, awesome job, man. Awesome job. Yeah. Oh, he just couldn't resist it. Oh, look at that, dude. All right, John, let's go ahead and send him on his way, buddy. Yeah, man. Great fish. Oh, there he goes. And there he goes. <laughs> Boom. Yes, sir. Yeah, We're on the board, brother. <laughs> All right. One down. The Captain's Log, presented by Soft Wash Systems, is being brought to you by Florida Fishing Products, East Cape Boats, Icon Coolers, Danko Pliers, Go Castaway Fishing Charters. We got we got our tarpon. One down, baby. Let's do it. Let's, Let's start it. working for Mr. Permit. Yes, and, sir. Uh, once that water drops out a little bit, we'll go chase some bones around. Uh, Let's check it uh, out. I can't wait. Yes, sir. Okay, you see yep, that yep, flash? Yep, yep, you yep. see him out there? Let's go him. ahead and throw it up current of him. Okay, right on him, but that's okay. See how the wind's dragging it? They're not gonna eat it unless it's going with the current. Okay, I got one up on top there. Let's go ahead and make another throw. Can you see that brown back out there? Where are we at? Left, left, right where you've been, just go a little further. Okay, we still want to be a little more up current than that. That's right where they're at, but let's go ahead and let it go through. Okay, open the bale. You see him coming in on it? Yep, yep. Okay, I still got him there. The whole school, you see the flash in a little bit, right? Right there. See, see that dark shade? Yep, Up yep. current of them. That, is that far enough? Yeah, let's just try it. I got him. Oh, I, did you get it? No, I, I saw Real. it. Real. Bro. Look. Yeah, keep it tight. Jack him up. Dude, dude we up, got a freaking boom it on, baby. I saw him come up and hit I'm the I'm gonna surface. get on the engine. Let's get this puppy. Big fish, John, big fish. Man, that was all you on spotting him. I didn't dude. see him until he came up to eat it. If you see a crab pot or something, don't be afraid to yell at me, okay? Okay. Keep it tight, baby, let's do this. He doesn't quite know what to do. I don't trust this fish. Yeah, bro, you, you said it. We, you know, we had a smaller crab, but they just weren't seeing it. We swapped out to that bigger crab, and man, he nailed it. First throw. Oh, look at him up on the flat, man. That is awesome. Nice fish, John. Yeah, he is. Well done, brother! Well yeah. done, man! All lit up, man. All lit up. Wow, what a slob, what a Jonathan. Fish, bro. What a slob, dude. That's a stud. Nick, anything I can do? No, you're doing great. Just keep it on him. Okay. 
There's just all types of nightmares in this zone here. Sharks and crab pots and whatever else. Oh, that is beautiful. Come on, putting on quite the show. Come on. Look at that fish, brother. Okay, he's about had it. Just trying to um, just uh, have him kind of lift his head up here. Try and next time he gives it to you. Um, around the front. Around the front. Around the front. Around the front. Oh no. Where's he at? Coming, he's coming, right here. Oh, brother. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah! Oh! One giant, bro! What an absolute... Oh, my God! <laughs> yeah! Yeah, dude! Oh, John, nice work. Bro. Oh, bro. Oh, man. What, that's a monster Key West oh. permit, dude. Oh my goodness, bro! Oh, you gotta hold this thing, man. Oh, God. give me that fish. Oh, oh, what a giant, dude! Listen, last time we were together, my birthday, oh. my wife said, "What do you want?" I said, "I want to go fishing with Nick Labatee down in Key West." Oh. We made it happen. This fish, oh. bro, is twice the size dude. of my first permit. He's a beast. what a giant, dude! Oh, he choked that crab oh. too. Hook just came right. Oh, up. awesome job! Man. Wow, what a the old fish. rubber lips, brother. Oh, what a just absolute Beautiful. stud! He's been around the block. Dude. Yeah, Look at I him. saw that when he was in the water swimming. He had a bunch oh. of markings on him. All right, well let's go ahead. Yeah, and let's start get him. Reviving him. Yeah, get him in the water. When we hooked up and he took off for the races and just the fight, I said, like, man, this fish just does not want to I knew give he up. was big. I didn't know he was I that big. I didn't know he was this big. <laughs> I didn't know he was this big. Oh. You're probably uh, you're probably looking mid-20s, mid to low 20s right there. What? 24, 25 pounds maybe. Stud of a fish, bro. Gosh. He's getting happier. Yeah, he's starting to get into it a little bit. Yep. Hi, right, buddy. Oh, man, let's send him on his way, dude. See you later. Peace out. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Look at him take off on the flat. This is Captain Jonathan Moss with your tackle box tip. If you're out on the water and you get salt water residue or spray under sunglasses, listen, you don't want to just wipe your glasses clean. The salt water will scratch your glass and do that. Instead, I carry this cheap, I keep it in the boat, a cheap water bottle, it's refillable. Spray it with some water. Grab a clean, dry microfiber towel. Give it some wipes. And I am good to go to continue to fish. Doing that is going to keep your lenses from getting scratched. They're going to last longer and they're going to help you see fish out in the water. This is Captain Jonathan Moss for your Tackle Box Tip. The Captain's Log, presented by Soft Wash Systems, is sponsored in part by these fine companies. Okay, go ahead and pop it. Pop it. Okay, wait. I see a ray there. Yeah, he was in there. Go ahead and put one, just blind cast one behind that ray. Could have just been a ray. Come on, baby. Yeah, baby. Oh! Yeah, baby. <laughs> Yeah, baby! Is that the one, dude? Be a bone, be a bone! Come on now! Oh, that's him, dude! <laughs> that's him. <laughs> oh my goodness! Man, we have seen three or four of these fish. Finally, though, I, I saw exactly what you were talking about. 
and off for the races we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that's a good one, John. Oh yes. They're all good. Oh. <laughs> Listen to Pip that. Up radio. high. Don't let them get you on the sponges. He's getting it, dude. Oh, brother. Oh, that's a chunky one. Look at that bonefish, brother. <laughs> His tail is all lit up. All right, brother, here right, he comes. John, pull him up, pull him up, pull him head up. Head up, head up. Boom! Hey, Got him, baby! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! All right! He went slam, dude! Woo! That is oh. what I am talking about. Nice bone too, buddy. Oh, look at that guy. Look at that fish. Oh, man. Look at that fish. Oh, yeah. Hey, get Thanks, your hands man. on that sucker. Thanks, man. Oh, my gosh. You know. Just gobbled that jig right down. I huh? caught, got my first permit with you, and now my first Key West Slam and my first bone fish with you. Yeah, man. Oh, what nice a, fish. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. Look at there. Look at that guy. All right, well, let's go ahead and get him unbuttoned. Yeah, get him unbuttoned and we'll send him on his way. Thank you, awesome. thank you, my friend. Boom. <laughs> what a day, what a day. Woo! Let's head home, That's man. That's what I'm talking about right there. The Key West Slam, bonefish, permit, tarpon. Big three. The big three, yeah, man. and and a difficult task. Yeah. Uh, today it proved to be more difficult for you pulling <laughs> in the wind, dude. You worked your tail off back there, and you gave me the opportunity to do something I've been wanting to do for a long, long time. Bro. Yeah. Thank you, Nick. Thank. Good you. job out there, man. I mean, no, good job to you, homie. <laughs> you got it. That was do, all man. you. It's, Listen, a, it's a team. When you when you put me in position. You knew exactly where to go. You had the eyes in the sky, man, just looking in the water, and you spot the fish. The, the tarpon, we got to the tarpon spot, and you're like, okay, we're a little early, but it's beautiful out. We got the sunshine. Let's let's see if we can see him on roll. Oh, there's one right there. All right, all right, okay. Here. Oh, and there's a couple more. And we bombed in there, and it wasn't, we saw three coming at us, and it wasn't no time. One Boom. came up and ate the Choked bait. it, yep. All right, so we got the tarpon, and you looked at me, and you're like, dude, that's gonna be, the hardest fish of the day. I'm like, that was the hardest fish. That was nothing. That was so easy. Yeah, they're tricky. They jump off a lot, man. They do. You're yeah. absolutely right. But we kept them buttoned. Yeah. Then we went off to the permit spot, and you saw the permit yeah. immediately. Yeah. Immediately. I struggled. I'm not gonna lie. I struggled to see exactly what you were talking about. I mean, about. we had a little overcast, a little wind. It wasn't easy to see those suckers. Well, you could totally tell the difference in your trained eye for permit compared to my trained eye who, who looks for other fish but we made it happen we saw the fish you pointed it out i made the spot i made the cast i truthfully i didn't see the fish until he came up and i don't want to say that crap. yeah he, he, he almost he just did a 180 and crushed it yep. and i didn't realize how big he was me i knew he was big i didn't know he was that big. it was huge dude that was, that was a great great fish and then we go off to me the most it was for me personally the most stressful fish the bone fish and a Florida Keys bone fish. And, and you said, oh, I see mud, I see mud. Throw into the mud. I threw into the mud and just like you said, there he was. He had just kicked his tail, probably ate something, was moving around, skirt at the bottom. Just a telltale sign of where he's at. He came up and hammered that jig. Crushed it, dude. Got him to the boat. And we, and we did something that we all need to do more often is thinking about keeping those fish in the water. Yeah. It means so much to the fish to keep that, that protective slime on them. Yeah. Key West Slam, bro! <laughs> I'm literally losing my voice from screaming so much today. I'm so excited. I'm so pumped. Thank you. Yeah, man. Dude. Seriously, Thank awesome you. job. It's okay. a two-person team, listen, dude. Listen, this is two times now I have fished with you. You need to come out and fish with me. I'll my bring it on, dude. I'll come, come on up to Orlando. This sounds out. awesome, dude. All right, bro. We got a boat to clean, and let's go get something to eat. I'm stuck. All right, let's do it, dude. Awesome.
He's not gonna come that close, buddy. No. <laughs> Woo! Well, no permit on this flat. <laughs> dude, he came in lit up, dude. He came in hot. <laughs>